I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a redo of a video I did a couple of minutes ago uh, about conspiracy theories. This should be in my conspiracy theory playlist. I'm going to talk about when you let it die, when you say, geez, I guess there really wasn't anything to it. Conspiracy theorists, at least some of them, have a nasty habit of saying, if you can't find the proof, then an absence of evidence is not an evidence of absence, which is true. It is not always so. Uh, and some people say, well, then if you can't find the data, then someone's removed it. If you can't find the evidence, then someone's removed it. If you can't, uh, if the data that has been collected doesn't bear it out, then somebody's tampered with it. And you can say that about anything. Most people don't cover up their crimes too well. The best way to do it is to just to go back to the initial inconsistencies and start from the top. You know, take it from the top as I say in music. Find the inconsistencies, find the only things that could have interfered with them and caught uh, the normal flow of information and caused those inconsistencies and then investigate from there. Say, I'm scrapping everything I know and I'm starting all over again. Start with questions. And when the questions start adding up to a dotted line around something, then you formulate your theory. So, anyway, I hope this has given people some food for thought. I hope it's clarified something, because if you wonder whether it's just a bigger conspiracy, investigate further by all means. Just focus on the questions and the inconsistencies, and the truth will usually become self-evident. Anyway. I'm Ozzy Griffin, and I hope this has helped everybody else out.